guys, thanks for joining us for another Scrappy Sisters advent calendar video. So in this video I am making a journal planner inserts for an old journal of that I have at home that I am going to jazz up as well later on in this video. So I have cut five of these uh, tab shapes out and each one is getting one inch bigger than the one before. So the last one is the biggest of all. And up along the top tab, I've also written a little word. It might say notes, it might say plans, it might say, um, I don't even know, ideas, something like that. And then I've written a similar word, but not the same, in these glitter sparkle letters along the side. And those I'm gluing on with my hot glue gun. And they are sort of hanging out a little bit from the edge of the side of the of the tab sheet. So you can see this one that I'm working on now, up the top it says think, and then I am gluing on these glittery letters that say ideas. Now these letters I made from the um, cardboard letters you can buy that have no color on them. So for us in Australia, you can get those from Kaiser Craft, um, and they're just sort of cardboard colored. And so I sprayed them with an adhesive spray and sprinkled glitter on them. And then once that had dried, I sprayed a sealant over the top of them so that the glitter will hopefully not come off too much. Uh, so there, as I said before, there are five of these that I am doing. Um, that one says plan and this one says videos. So in my brain, I am imagining that Katie could use this one to write down the lists of videos she needs to publish or what she needs to make or where she's up to um, with scheduling in her videos for our channel. Originally, I was just going to give her these as they are, these five. Um, I made them in blue and white and gold to match the new journal she's getting for Christmas. She knows she's getting this journal, this planner. Um, it's a proper diary planner with the months of the year and everything like that included in it. Um, it's a Kaiser Craft brand, and so, <laughs> so I was originally making this to be put inside that current album, but I then real oh, planner, but I then realised that these will make the planner quite large or quite fat because I would also want to add some paper for her to actually write on. Um, and yeah, it was just starting to make it a little bit too big. I decided so. I actually had an old planner at home that I decided I would jazz up a little bit. It um, was carried around in Kate is Katie's actually in her handbag and she spilt something on it a little bit so it got a little bit stained. So I decided I would modify it to suit my needs and suit the purposes of these inserts that I am making. So I think I'm just up to the last one now. This one says think. And I was really happy with these sparkly letters. I thought they looked great. They were so nice and sparkly and really catch your eye. And the other good thing about putting these five with their own papers into um, a journal just for themselves is that there's a little bit more room to grow. You know, she can add things, she can staple things in, she can sticky tape things in, she can glue things in, she can do whatever she needs to do. And she, there will be enough room inside that planner for this to happen. So that is the current planner, how it currently looks. And I could have totally just left it as it was, but I was unhappy with it being sort of that tealy blue color and the planner cards being navy blue. So there they are sitting in there and they look really cute. I didn't measure it or anything um, because once I put the paper in, you're not going to be able to see the gold words behind each other anyway. So I totally agree looking at it now that it looks weird. They don't all line up and they don't all match. But once you chuck in a whole pile of papers, you're not going to see it anyway. So I decided they were a little bit plain just the way they looked. So just adding a little bit of embellishing. So some cute kiss hug washi tape in gold with gold kiss hugs on it. A little strip of gold. And then I'm going to punch some little tiny hearts as well just because they're cute and I can. So I just do this to every one 
and then I stick on the tiny hearts as well. So I just use the hot glue gun to glue on those hearts and I punched those out off screen because I didn't think you needed to watch any more washi tape or heart punching and I also don't include um, putting the hearts onto every single one because it's the same process each time. I'm sure you can imagine how that would look. So here they are now that they've been embellished and they are sitting inside the journal and I'm really happy with them. I think they look really, really cute. So there is the other journal that I wanted to put them in. So you can see why they were the colors that they are, but it was just going to make the journal far too fat. Um, and I was worried she wouldn't have enough room to actually do any journaling in there once um, they were added in. So I decided to not use that journal and to use the original teal blue one, but to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to show you some up close photos of these tabs, and then I'm going to show you how I modified and updated the other journal. So I'm sorry if you are getting a little bit bored of seeing all of these tabs. I just knew that I hadn't really explained to you how I'd done it, so I wanted to make sure you could really see it first. Um, I cut these out using a silhouette machine, but you could totally cut them by hand so easy. Um, just the joy of the silhouette machine meant that they were perfectly one inch bigger than the last, which is great. And I left a little bit of laminating pocket at the side, just plain laminator, that I is where I put the hole punch in that you can see quite well in that photo there. Um, so I just think these are really cute. I love them. I'm really happy with the way they turned out and I love the way you can see the little words across the top tabs but then you can see the really nice shiny words at the side. So the album, uh, the planner that Katie gave me is a material on top so I'm just using an ink paint to paint navy all over this. It's quite a thick textured paint um, so I was concerned about the streakiness because I've only got a tinsy tiny paintbrush. It was leaving quite streaky marks and lines um, on the paint. It wasn't going on nice and smoothly. So once I'd sort of painted that down and the, the half that I've already done, I have, I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking. It's a little bit streaky, but that's because I had to leave it to dry a little bit. It's a boiling, boiling day today. And even just leaving it for five minutes to go off to the toilet was enough to get it to um, be almost dry by the time I got back. So it's not an ideal day for painting, but I just don't have time to not be painting. So <laughs> these advent calendars need to get finished. So this was a really simple, easy thing to paint on because of the fact that it was a material base. It's not going to scratch off or anything like that, which is perfect. So when that's finished, I then went and got a roller, just a normal foam roller, and it was a little bit wet. I had a little bit of water on it, and I just rubbed it back and forth across the wet paint just to help sort of smooth it out a little bit there. Uh, by doing that, the pattern that was underneath, so the watermelons, started to come through a little bit, but I knew that that was fine because I wanted to put some gold texture paint on it anyway. So I am doing circles because that was the best shape that would cover up the original watermelon slices. So I'm just putting a whole bunch of circles everywhere I can see a watermelon slice. I'm covering that by putting on this metallic gold paint um, in a little circle. I'd originally thought about trying to get perfect circles, tracing a shape, but in the end, it probably would look 100% neater if I had have done that, but that was going to take up so much time and it was going to be so um, challenging to do that. I ended up freehanding it. And I'm quite happy with the sort of messy, crazy look that it has. Uh, it was never going to be perfect by freehanding it, but I think it's really cute. So once that had, I didn't even let that dry because it is so hot here today. I know I've said that already, <laughs> but once I'd finished, I just went back and started again at the other end and it was pretty much dry enough to do a second coat, which was great. So just going over it again, giving it a, making it a little bit darker and giving it a second coat there. 
I decided I wasn't going to bother doing the inside. It was just going to take too long. It's just in case people are wondering why I'm saying it's going to take too long, it's going to take too long. Um, all of these videos need to be finished by the 1st of December so that we can have them loaded and ready to go and that I can give Katie her advent calendar. And it's currently the 30th of November. So, yeah, it needs to be done, like, as quickly as I can. So once that was dry, I sprayed it with a sealant just to um, help protect it if Katie again spills a drink bottle or anything and just to um, give it a little bit of a shiny finish. And then I added again some plain white note paper in there that I just cut down A4 paper uh, into the correct size and hole punched it. And so now each of those little spots has got its own paper so she can write notes and it's in its own little journal and she can use that as sort of a to-do list. Now you may have just noticed that the T fell off the last one. If I was to do this again, I would have made that one just a tiny bit smaller because I had made it to fit in the other planner. The other planner is wider um, and this planner, it's hitting the little hook where your pen is supposed to go. So I can envision that that's gonna cause her problems. Perhaps I'll cut the pen little loop off and that might be a better way to stop the tea from falling off again. Don't know. But anyway, I'm just flicking through the photos now showing you how each page looks as a close-up. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it hasn't been too long talking about the same thing. And stay tuned for another video tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.